Look how lifted that is. Hold on. Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Get ready for a very exciting mascara comparison today. This is probably the second most excited I've been for a video. When L'Oreal released the new Panorama mascara, you guys knew how excited I was about this. I've done an individual review on it and also a few comparisons and I do really like it. It hasn't had the best ugh, wear tests on my channel. I swear when I wear it off camera, it's like pretty fine. And then every single time I do a wear test for you guys, it's like not performing the way I want it to. I just love the brush on this and I like the formula a lot. I even gave it to my roommate to use. Like this is her mascara now. I stole it back for this video, but that's how much I like this. Like I would give it to a friend to use. So the reason I'm so excited for this video is because I was scrolling on Ulta and they released a new one and this is a 24 hour all night version. So starting with the original Panorama mascara, ironically online it does say this one's supposed to be 24 hour wear. It's supposed to resist clumps, smudging, and flaking. It's supposed to make your eyes appear 1.4 times larger and it's supposed to give the appearance of soft full lashes. Now when looking at the 24 hour all night black version, what's interesting is that on Ulta all the details look to be the exact same. Like it claims the 1.4 times bigger thing, it says 24 hour wear, but it does say it has extreme black pigments combined with 5% stretch flex complex formula, whatever that means. I don't like that both of them claim 24 hour wear because if they release this mascara with the point of it being longer lasting. Why are you also claiming 24 hour wear on the original? You know, I don't know if they're just like, <laughs> that's my cat. Cleo, everyone. If you want to see the application and comparison, just keep on watching. I'm like stoked for this review. <laughs> like guys, I'm so excited about this mascara. I'm praying it doesn't let me down. So the wands of both of these mascaras are the exact same. We're still going to take a look at it because I want you guys to see it if you haven't seen it already. This is the kind of mascara wand that I absolutely love. I love a tapered brush and I love hard spikes. I just think it does such a good job of separating your lashes. Okay, we are going lower lashes. Oh my god, my under eyes are already like creasing today with my makeup. Yeah, I just, wow, I love this brush. It's perfection, literally favorite thing ever besides the Maybelline Sky High brush. That, I feel like nothing will beat that, but it looks black, but I can't really tell how black yet. Okay, upper lashes. I'm mostly just curious to see how this formula differs from the original. I feel like it's drier. Don't put, keep my word on that though, because I still need to do the other side first. Thicker. I guess thicker. Maybe not drier. Drier may not be the best word, but um, it definitely feels like a thicker formula than the other one. I really loved the original because it was such a natural mascara. I like the spice because as you can see, like I felt like it got clumpy there for a minute, but when I go in again, I feel like it can separate it a little bit. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is look how lifted that is. Hold on. I do not curl my lashes before any of these videos and look, that's kind of crazy. I'll admit that's, um, I feel like my lashes are so curled. Like that's like super curled, right? Now moving on to the original Panorama. This one has the exact same brush as you can see. I'll apply it and I'll see if my opinion's different, but I've used this many, many times off camera. So I'm very familiar with the formula. I definitely just feel like it's not going to be as dramatic of a look on this eye. Honestly, this one feels thicker than like, I feel like I remember, but I think this formula is wetter. Wow, my lower lashes are kind of going crazy. Makes me nervous that they're gonna smudge. I'm gonna take off the end of like a little bit there. I don't want them to be too long. Okay, upper lashes. Let's see the difference. This is what I'm most curious about. They both look pretty black though. I feel like I lost some lashes, guys. Like. What is going on there? Don't blame the mascara for that, please. I think I'm just like, my lashes are balding. It's really not the mascara. I think something's weird with my lashes recently. Like right here, this is like where I'm having lash problems recently. So take that with a grain of salt. Okay, looking at both of these mascaras right now, I feel like this side has a little bit more of a lift. And obviously the side I think is looking better. The original formula is definitely a little bit more wet and I'd say like slightly more thin. Weirdly though, I kind of feel like this side looks darker. I don't know if it's just the like illusion because there might be more product on the base, but if it wasn't for my eyelashes being wonky right there, I feel like they're still giving the same thing. Like the look isn't like super different. I have a Q-tip and we're gonna see how this one removes off the lid because I did get it on myself. Okay, slay, look at that. Wow, that was easy. Now let's do Panorama, the original one. That's easy. 
Yippee, we love that. We are starting the swear test a little bit late, so, oh boy. I got it in the mail today and I was like, I have to do a review, like I don't care if it's almost 4 p.m. So right now it is almost 4 p.m. I'm gonna be back at the four hour mark and then the eight hour mark and we are gonna see how these mascaras look. Okay, I'm back for the four hour check-in. It is about 8 p.m. Um, the mascaras are doing okay like a five out of 10. So for the one that claims 24 hour wear, there's already a flake up there if you can see it. And I noticed that about an hour ago, there's also some smudging under my eyes on camera with the lights, it's hard to tell. It is very slight, but I still feel like it's kept its lift. It looks very lifted and curled. I just have a feeling that at that eight hour mark, we're definitely gonna get more smudging. Now for the original panorama side, there's also one flake under there. Of course, I always say it's flake resistant, but now I'm like, I can't even say that anymore because like what is going on? One really slight one right there. And there's also a tiny bit of smudging happening. Maybe the side's a little bit more of the smudging, but you can see it a little bit starting to happen. But the wear test is not over yet. I will be back. Honestly, I'll probably wear the mascaras for like seven hours because I realized the full eight hours would bring me to 12 in the morning. And I don't know if I can stay up that late. So we're gonna shoot for like 11 p.m. Right now it's eight and I'll be back at 11. Okay guys, I'm back. I made it seven hours. I'm happy, you know what? I was like, I can't stay up till 12 in the morning. I think I'll die. Let's take a look right now. So first I just wanna show you with the light and now I'm gonna turn off the light. Cause I mentioned this before in my videos, but the light kind of dulls down the smudging. And sometimes I'm talking about how it's smudging so much and like you guys can't even like see. And I'm like, it seems like I'm just making stuff up. But um, do you see under my eyes here? For both mascaras, it's kind of, it's all from just my lower lashes. I honestly feel like both mascaras performed very similarly like throughout the day. I mean, both have some flakes. Like there's some flakes going on here. There's some flakes under the eyes for the original. The one that's supposed to be a darker, this one, I feel like smudged maybe a tiny bit more, but overall the wear tests were very similar. And after seven hours, I would still say that both mascaras look pretty good. Like I don't feel like they've dropped that much. This one still, I feel like is very lifted. What I really want L'Oreal to do is take the wand off of both of these mascaras and just change the formula. I think it's so close to being really good. I just feel like a tubing mascara would maybe work better with this wand or just a formula that lasts a little bit longer throughout the day, like just a little bit or no smudging. I'll even take a few flakes. I just don't want any more smudging. And I think that's why I've tried this mascara so many times and been such a big fan of it because I see the potential. It's just not fully there yet. I mean, they both claim 24 hour wear, which is bizarre to me, but this one like really emphasizes it in the title. So I was like, oh my God, maybe the formula is super different and maybe it's gonna last, but it still wore pretty much the same as the original. But that's gonna be the end of my video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget, please leave suggestions down below. I've been screenshotting your guys' comments. I really wanna do a review on like a brown mascara and a colored mascara. Those are, oh my God, my light came off. <laughs> okay, honestly guys, I don't really wanna go and charge my light and then come back. So we're gonna end the video with the light off, but that's it. Okay, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing Cleo earlier.